Hi everyone. I'm hopeful that all, all you will be fine. So in this session, we will learn how we can get the past meeting participant report. Okay. So in the last session, we have successfully got the past meeting report. Okay. And in this session, we will just request uh, the Zoom REST API to get the past meeting participant report. Okay. So for that, we first need to create a const variable for the endpoint. Okay. We say const past past meeting participants okay and we say report meetings okay and we just need to pass the meeting id here and we say slash participants okay and then we just need to export that past meeting participants just need to format the code. First, we need to import the endpoint. Okay, so we say here past meeting participants. And at the bottom, we are going to create a helper called past meeting participants report. Okay. Async, we just need to pass the meeting ID and the filter. Okay. So we just need to so meeting id will be the meeting id in the form of integer okay in long integer in like number okay 11 digit number so it will be a long number okay and you can also pass the meeting id as a uuid okay so uuid will be a unique id assigned by the zoom okay so when you are going to pass a uuid and requesting any resource from the zoom then you must be double encode that UUID, okay? What we are doing here, we are just passing both meeting ID and meeting UUID in the same, this parameter, okay? So we are going to, to encode that parameter, okay? So we first build the past meeting participants URI and we use the string interpolation and we say API base, API base URI and we append past meeting participants okay and we must be replaced okay so we have uh, signed uh, this variable okay so as a placeholder we were just assigned as a placeholder so we say we just need to control c and we just pass a here control v and value okay so we assign the video meeting ID, okay? And we just need to double encode that. So we just, just uh, type that encode URL and encode URL, okay? And just paste it. And then we have also a filter parameter, okay? So inside the filter, in this, uh, in this, past meeting participant report the zoom is supporting page size okay as a filter parameter as a query parameter okay and uh, next page token and last one is the include fields okay so currently only allowed field for this uh, requesting past meeting participant report only allowed field is uh, registrant ID, okay. Only this this field is only allowed. If you want uh, to be in the response, you want to be a registrant ID must be included in the response if the meeting is a registration enabled required meeting, okay. So these are the query parameters supported by this endpoint, okay. So we just need to set the page size by default. 300 okay you can set any number okay and then for the next page token and include fields okay so include field is only one for now okay so we say here include fields we just pass registrant okay registrant id okay and then for the remain 
next page token we will get the token inside the response of the our first request if if the records are greater than the page size then we get the next page token okay so you can see we have set at 300 and if the records greater than 300 then we have a next page token in the response so we just need to remove this filter okay because we have no need right now and then we are just going to request using the xs so we say const data and await and we say xs and we set uri and we say past meeting uri but past meeting participant uri and we say method will be gate and we say headers so we must be past authorization header we just need to copy that from here and paste it here okay and we are going to bind then and we say response and we just need to return the response okay and we must be catch the error okay so we say error and we return the error okay so in the in my last uh, few sessions where we have a, a page size parameter as a query parameter i have placed a, a recursive logic okay i'm just going to calling that function recurs recursively okay but in this session and in this request because in this request we have also page size parameter so we are going to change that recursive logic to do while logic okay so we can also place a do while here so we say do and while and we just need to create a result global object or variable and then we just need to pass that result from the request to the result and we just test that inside the do and while okay and we say here if result dot data dot next page token then keep looping okay and what we are also creating here we say past participants okay result and we just going to create that as an array so we keep pushing all the records on on that object and uh, here we say if result dot data dot participants okay participants then we are going to pushing those already uh, fetched records inside the result okay so we say push we say result dot data dot participants okay and then at the bottom we are just going to return the past meeting participants result okay just need to form it and now i'm just uh, demonstrating this logic how it works so basically let's suppose we are taking an example uh, we have uh, 500 records okay or 550 records on our in, in on our on, on our let's suppose in a meeting called we are taking an example also for the meeting id 154 okay so this meeting have a 550 records and on the first we have set at the max size which is a 300 and on the first request we have successfully got the 300 records on the first request we are getting request number one we have got 300 records okay and inside the response we have also next page token okay so we have a result and inside that result we have a data and participants so we are pushing the participants inside the list inside the array and then while it's checking the condition that if result or data have a next page token so inside the inside the data we have also next page token because the records are greater than 300 so loop is uh iterate iterating once again and from here we are requesting once again okay and here we are just uh need to okay so we must be at past meeting uri and we we must be append so we append the next page token okay so we say plus and we say here and and next page token and we get that token from result dot data dot next page token okay 
So on the next request, once the records on the second request where we have uh, still remaining 250 records, okay? So it will be a request two. And the, at that time we have a next page token as a query parameter. And the second time we are requesting to the API using the next page token and only we, we will got 250 records. Okay, and there is no any next page token because all the records, 550 records are fetched on our second request. And then we do not have any next page token inside the data. So then loop will stop and we have all the records. Okay, we have all the records uh, inside the past meeting, past meeting result. So we just need to check that, that thing in a separate check, okay. So we say if result dot data dot next page token, then just append. Okay. So in that way, logic will work fine. Okay. So now we are just going to export this and we are exporting as a past meeting participant report. And inside the API, we are going to first import that. So we are saying here yeah, past meeting participant report. Okay. And at the bottom, we are going to create an endpoint. So we say ape.get and we say API zoom slash report. Okay. And we say past meetings. Okay. And here we bind the meeting ID. Okay. And we say participants. Okay. So API zoom reports, past meetings, ID, and then participants. So we say here async and request response and just we are going to placing the, or implementing the handler logic so we say here result and participants report and we say await and we say past meeting participant report and we just need to pass so we take here if the request dot query dot uuid then we are going to passing request dot query dot uuid if if there is no any uuid then we are directly passing the request dot params dot id okay so just pressing full stop and then we are just sending response response dot json and participant report okay so just need to farm it and place a breakpoint. We need to place a breakpoint here and here. Okay. And then we are we are just requesting the API. NPM is start. We are just starting the API and going to request from the browser. So we must be get the endpoint first. Control C and then we say local host code four thousand and paste and we open another tab we call it localhost for 4000 and we say api slash zoom slash reports slash past meeting i think uh, we can get the meeting id from the account so we say zoom.us meeting and need to log in first. So sign in. Okay, and previous meetings, we are just going to get the meeting. So we just click on this meeting and we get the meeting ID first. Okay, and then we are just replacing that ID parameter. We say command V and we hit enter. So we have a request here and we have a meeting ID and we have successfully built, built the request report meetings, meeting ID, participant page ID 300 and click register an ID. Okay. So stay power. So inside the result, we have a state 200. Okay. And data. Okay. So we have got three participants. You can see. We have got three participants and there are on total records are length three. So we have only three records. That's why we are getting. So we say here data participant pushing that and there's no any token, no token. And we are just re returning the result. Okay. 
So we're returning back. For the uh, loop logic, for better understanding, we can say here page size only two, okay? So if we set the page size two, then in the first request we get two, and in the second request we will get the first one record. So in that way we will check the logic. So we say npm start, and from the browser we hit enter once again, okay? So we say continue, and we can see inside the response we have only two count two participants so because we have set it page size two and we have successfully got the next page token. So we say here continue push if the next token we are setting the next token and we are seeing here we have a next token in as a query parameter. And there is a next token and loop is at, uh, applying iteration next iteration and we are getting the next time result. Okay, so this time we have a no any. Uh, next page token and we have got the last one participant okay and you must be know in the uh, past meeting participant report you have uh, these two fields value okay so these are very important as 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 prospective of the the report okay so join time and leave time okay so I'm hopeful that you have got this session and enjoyed the session. Okay, if you have any query regarding this session, then you just place a comment on a video comment section. And uh, uh, either you can just ping me via my shared contact details, uh, either on a WhatsApp, either on an email address. Okay, and also you, if you have any suggestion regarding my content, uh, or you uh, you want me to suggest any any third party on that, I can build the series so you are the suggestions are most welcome okay oh, uh, we will come back in the next session hopefully uh, bye bye thank you